Hi, this is Gypsy Spirit, and I have a lot going on uh, with uh, with things that I do, uh, my tarot readings and and um, my uh, spell casting, creating spells, and making my oils and things like that. And I share a lot of that on my Patreon page. Uh, people that are interested in learning how to make an alchemy or, or cultivating an alchemy of um, essential oils to, to use for healing purposes and, and uh, doing spell casting and that sort of thing. I have um, a Patreon page giving you instructions and, and uh, following you through uh, demonstrations on how to do these things. But I, I'm doing this video to really explain uh, what the term witch or witchcraft, okay? Um, because I come from a very strong Christian background, and I want to say it was 2011, I'd gone through a divorce, or I was going through a divorce, and you know, I still had my Christian beliefs, and um, I ran across a lady who told me that she wanted to do a crystal reading on me. I had no clue what that was, and she told me that uh, she wanted, that what it consisted of is that she would put these crystals on me and and pray over me or something and and honestly I thought she was crazy my first thought was okay this lady's fucking crazy and she's got fucking rocks falling out of her head and she wants to put them on my body okay I, I just it was but I was I I was intrigued at the same time and I remember as a little girl I used to watch um, Bewitched you know, stuff like, and Dora is my favorite character, and I, if I could get away with dressing like her, I would, um, but, um, and I also like to watch stuff like the monsters and, and things like that, and my mother, she was always into her astrology, so there was always something kind of drawing me, and then I guess when I was about 13, I got saved, uh, got saved in the church, and I, uh, was, uh, you know, I'd slip, slipped away and then came back and into the church and got really uh, turned into like one of those Bible thumping legalistic Christians, the kind that I don't like anymore. <laughs> so, and then I went, I started going through a divorce and went to this, you know, this woman and I were talking and uh, she told me she was going to be in Charleston. She wanted to do um, it's a crystal reading. So uh, fast forward, she did the crystal reading. And it was revealed to me through the reading. And she told me, she said, I don't speak unless spirit tells me to speak. So she really didn't say anything. It was me and what I was seeing. And uh, the moment she put the first crystal on me, I saw, I saw what a uh, spirit started speaking to me. And I started seeing visions. And I, I mean, I didn't drink anything. I didn't take any anything that she gave me. It was just she was putting these stones on me. And I was told that I was born as a witch. I, what I saw was a big purple full moon. And there was a, the silhouette of a witch going across the moon. How, you know, how we see like a moon and the witch, you know, flying on her broom across it. That's what I saw. And she was in the witch's garb and everything. And the spirit said to me that's what you are but that's not what you are that's how society sees you but that's not what you are and you've been wasting a lot of time and you're a healer and you're here to heal people and basically what they were telling me what spirit was telling me was that i needed to shit or get off the pot um and so i gotta tell you when it was all over with <laughs> And there were some other interesting things happen, that happened through this session that I won't go into, but it all related to the fact that I was born as a witch and, and that's who I am and what I am and what I'm supposed to be doing. And um, I was so confused for so long. I mean, I thought that I was supposed to be like standing over a cauldron, you know, like, you know, doing all these uh, magical spells and casting spells on people, you know, like you see in, in, on TV. Um, so yeah, I mean, I had it confused with Hollywood and I remember, uh, talking to a friend and I was, I was actually crying because I said, you know, I've wasted so much time 
in my life being in the church when I was really supposed to be doing uh, this witchy stuff, you know. And she said, no, uh, you needed to be there. You needed to be there so you could learn some things. And she was right. I did need to be in the church. And um, it doesn't remove my relationship with Jesus. Um, it changed it a little bit. I mean, I took Jesus out of the church box. I took God out of the church box and, and just rod and open my mind a little bit more, a lot more. And, um, of course my son is a devout Christian and he and all his Christian friends think I'm all, that I'm going to hell, that I'm going to burn in hell. And I tried to tell him, I, uh, I told him one time we were talking and I said, Oh, I have a very close relationship with Jesus. We talk all the time. And he said, well, you got the wrong Jesus. And I just was like, what? I always thought there was only one. <laughs> I never knew there were more than one. <laughs> Do tell, fill me in. Um, but people have such a misconception about witches and it's really sad. I mean, I've been, uh, verbally persecuted for saying that I was a witch, that I'm a witch, um, just really bashed very badly. And, uh, what people don't realize is, you know, all of that bashing started, I'm sorry, my Bell's palsy is bothering me. And so I'm talking a little crooked too, as well today, but, um, the church, especially the Catholic churches, they, um, they didn't want people to listen to witches or to believe in them because it was all about power and control. If you read your history way back when, when all that was going on, it was all about the power and control. Listen, I use incense, I use oils, I use all kinds of things uh, like that, flowers, oils, incense, a lot of the things that the churches are using. The Catholic churches, they, where do you think they got it from? They got it from the witches. They wanted us to, we wanted people, we want people to live in freedom and spiritual freedom, not the churches. They want you, they want to control you. <laughs> they want you to believe what they believe so that they can put the fear of God, keep you in fear and keep you controlled. Learn your history before you start bashing people that claim to be witches. So it took me a while to, to really get into my, who I was because, or who I am, because I thought for a long time, like I said, that I was supposed to be like standing over a cauldron and stirring up the pot and everything. I just had it all confused. I mean, and of course, because that's what I grew up with. That's how I grew up thinking about witches and I mean that's been since 2011 and uh, I've come a very very long way that's not witches w witches are not uh, to be they're not evil people they're not um, you know trying to cast bad evil spells on you there's good and evil or good and bad everywhere it doesn't matter there's good and bad in all religions you know uh, look at um, the uh, Muslim religion. I mean, somebody tells me, for the average person who's not educated, if they meet a Muslim, they're like, ah, you know, I mean, they think that the Muslims are killers and stuff like that. No, no, uh, not all Muslims are, are like that. Uh, there's a lot of Christians. What about the Christians that are going into all these abortion clinics and blowing them up and and blowing up buildings, uh, it, it, it's the person. It's not about the religion, or it's the person. So, um, you know, I, I, I battled with it. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I went, I, I studied all kinds of things. I learned about Reiki. I learned about all kinds of metaphysical stuff. And it finally got to the point where I began to understand what my calling is and I think we all go through that but this is witches are healers a true witch one that is uh wants to see uh people heal and people do uh good for themselves 
we're healers. We're here to help people, to help people move forward. Um, and yes, we use, uh, I use all kinds of um, earthly elements that the universe has given to us, such as oils and plants and all kinds of things to uh, use in my healing. I do energy work with my hands. I tell everybody that I'm just a conduit. That's, that's all. You know, what goes on between you and spirit or universe, whoever you want to call your guides, whatever, it's between you and them. I'm just a conduit to help you. Um, but so don't, don't get um, crazy when somebody tells you they're a witch or when you discover that you're a witch. I did a reading for somebody a long time ago and I told him, I said, you're a witch. And it, I think it freaked him out a little bit. And I tried to explain to him what that meant. And, you know, for, for everybody, for me included, when it was revealed to me that I was a witch, it's not something that I just jumped into right away. It was something that took a while for me to embrace. I tried to embrace it on many levels. But finally, in the end, I learned how to embrace it to do what I was meant to do, and that is helping people and healing people. And a lot of the healing that I, a lot of the things that I work with people on, it's um, primarily women, to be honest with you. Women that have been in bad relationships and, and helping women to find their own power. Uh, for many of us, we've had to go through some of those things ourselves in order to gain the wisdom and, and understand how to help people, um, which is what I've had to go through as, as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's okay if you've got a friend that's a witch. It's okay that um, somebody tells you they're a witch. I mean, I know witches. I know a lot of witches here in my community. Some of them use their power for the bad. And like I said, that's just like anybody else, any religion. People are people. There's good people and there's bad people. And the ones that I have met that use their 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 work, do their witchcraft, um, or create spells for the for bad things to happen, I stay away from those people. They're not my peoples. I I don't want to associate with them. I only associate myself with other people, whether they're witches or not, uh, with people that have good intentions or mean good for the community and for themselves and their friends. So, you know, we're just like anybody else. We're human too. But uh, you got to pick your, your, you know, choose who you want to be around. So with this being said, I hope this clarifies a little bit on witches. And so you don't have to be afraid of us. Uh, we're not terrible people. We're most of us are pretty nice and we'll help you as much as we can. So um, thank you for listening and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.